Wait a minute. Hold up. I think I just saw something on my fucking sidebar that was like... Something I need to check in right now. Well, two things, actually. Right now, fucking uh, Final Fantasy XIV's having a live letter. What the hell? Nobody told me about that. And more importantly, something else... What the hell? Let's see. Oh my fucking god, what? <laughs> Dude. Deltarune Chapter 2 is getting released. It got released yesterday. When? Why? Okay. Oh my god, somebody already uploaded like all the fucking bosses and shit like that. Come on guys, show some fucking restraint or some shit. What the hell? Dude, I was literally just thinking about Deltarune like fucking... ...yesterday. And I was just thinking like, man, do people forget about that game or some shit? I didn't know fucking Chapter 2 came out already. Damn it, I was hoping it wouldn't come out to like October or something like that. I still haven't even played Delta Rune Chapter 1. But anyways. Oh, by the way, who, people who don't know what Delta Rune is, that's a... That's a... The continuation of Undertale, supposedly. It's made by Toby Fox and all that shit. And, you know, all that loveliness. Anyways. We are live. More Danganronpa. Surprisingly. Usually, I do these on, like, Monday or, uh... Well, I say Monday, what, what would it be, like, Tuesday on the East Coast? Tuesday mornings, early in the morning? Or, um, Wednesday mornings or some shit? I don't fucking know. I don't know, I just woke up to do this. I took off of work today. I didn't feel good. I felt very bad. So bad that I was not able to eat anything. I've been drinking out the same can of soda all fucking day. And it's just a normal can. It's not big or anything like that. And we're gonna play some fucking, uh, Rune Factory. Rune Factory. What the fuck is wrong with me? I got Delta Rune on the mind right now. We're gonna play some Danganronpa. Right? So where we last left off, Kibo said, fuck this, fuck everything. We're gonna fucking destroy the world. Got nothing else to live for. Might as well take everyone down with me. <laughs> he didn't say it like that. But basically, Kibo said, I'm done with this. I'm destroying this place. It's over. So he went on a rampage. And then Monokuma said, uh-uh, none of that shit in this house. And then Monokuma started, you know, retaliating back with the Monocubs and the XSLs. Oh, by the way, the Monocubs are back now. They're alive. And basically, we were on a, we were having a race to the finish. You know, investigating, trying to find the truth of things. We found out about Rantaro's secret talent, which... I want somebody to hand me ten dollars or something because I guessed that shit way ahead of time. I kept saying it. I'm like, what is this dude? The ultimate survivalist or some shit? Turns out he's the ultimate survivor. Because, you know, he's been surviving multiple death games. Monokuma has let some information slip as well. Things like, ah, it doesn't fucking matter. I can just always get more people if I want. By the way, someone's watching the death game. That's... That's cool. That's something that's not surprising whatsoever. You know. Oh, by the way, also, Kokichi's dead. So is Kaito. They're gone. The last remaining contestants, participants, whatever you want to call them, is uh, Suichi, Maki, Simugi, Kibo, and Himiko. So, that's what's left over. And one of us must be the mastermind. Or maybe none of us is the mastermind. The mastermind was our own undoing. It's like fucking the Twilight Zone, the monsters on Maple Street. It's like there was no monsters. Besides the fact that at the end of it there were like aliens fucking with the power lines and shit. <laughs> Alright. Oh hey Blob! Welcome dude. It's been a while since I've seen you. Let's see. His FDA has revealed that he's actually the ultimate adventurer because since the last killing game, all he's got is the title of the ultimate survivor. 
Oh, so he's ultimate inventor instead. But they gave him the ultimate survivor title because he's been surviving all along. Oh yeah, we also find out that Kokichi's lying sack of shit. <laughs> Even after death, he's like, Yeah, I wasn't a remnant of despair. I'm a little harmless prankster. Haha. <laughs> and this was all my plan. Just to become the villain so I can defeat Monokuma and save you guys. But at the same time, if he's like this harmless prankster, right? If that was who he was before all this shit went down, why would he just go like, Fuck it, I'll kill myself just to beat Monokuma. That's kind of crazy. You've been here, just not in chat. I know you've been here. I remember seeing uh, seeing the follow pop up. I remember. I remember. Do you remember? I remember. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, so we're gearing up. Kibo's not with us right now. The XSLs went to take off his super sci-fi gear just in case he decides to chowtzu himself in the middle of the courtroom. Goodbye, Tien. Chowtzu, no! <laughs> I'm a little giddy, I'm a little happier. Maybe it's because I'm delusional because I haven't really eaten that much in like the past two or three days. My fucking brother's an asshole because he brought a stomach virus into the house, like a piece of shit. Hate that guy. It was like, what, two days ago or some shit. I was like, man, my stomach's feeling a little rough. All right. But it's okay, and then Fucking someone else in the house was like, man, cuz your brother brought a fucking stomach virus to the house. What an asshole. And I was like, wait a minute. He brought a stomach virus in the house? No wonder why I feel like shit. <laughs> I thought there was something wrong with me. It's his fault. Lynch him. Get him. Hang that motherfucker. I got the rope right here. <laughs> guys are watching the boondocks. The part where Uncle Ruckus, he's just like, hang that motherfucker, I got the rope right here. Alright, where's my glasses? I cannot see without my glasses. Where the, f where the fuck are my glasses? I just had them here. What the hell? They were literally just in front of me, I'm not playing around with this. See, this is what happened. Delta Ruin fucked me up. Glasses, where are you? Oh, there they are. They're all the. God damn it. <laughs> Why'd I sit them down all the way over there? Oh, you know what happened? I did get distracted by Delta Ruin. That is actually what happened. I said, hold up, I gotta look this up. All right, the next time we come out of the trial grounds, it'll be all over, right? We can win, right? Okay. Of course. It's okay. It'll be okay. This class trial should be much easier than the others. What? Huh? Why? Because. Up until now, we had to find the culprit amongst the people in our group during the class trials. That's why we couldn't work together, even if we wanted to. But this time, it's different. I see. Oh. Since there isn't a culprit amongst us, we can work together without any doubts. Unless one of us is the mastermind. Ah. We're all going to be working together this time? I really feel more at ease. Ah. At ease, loser. Who says that? Is that... I think that's Alex from uh, Street Fighter. I think that's I think that's one of his lines. He goes, at ease, loser. Something like that. Yeah, that is one of his lines from like... Third Strike. Why am I remembering that at right now? But I wish it had been... Uh, God, I wish it happened sooner. At the beginning, there were 16 of us. And now there's only a robot, one boy, and three girls. Now listen, I'm not saying what happened was a good thing. I'm just saying that I'm very blessed right now. But now there's only four standing here, plus Kibo, who's coming later. Well... We're about to head to the last battle. Why are you so depressed? I'm oh, sorry. You're right. Are you giving into despair? Everyone. Thank you for waiting. Kibo. Hey, Kibo, you got your fucking uh, antenna hair thing back. Does that mean you you got your inner voice back too? That was fast, Kibo. 
Blade's weapons have been removed. I suppose we don't have to worry about him attacking. What? What? Are you disappointed? Did you prefer your sci-fi gear after all? Well... No, it's not that. Everyone! It's just... I'm just very sorry. Kibo bowed to the weight to the waist to us. I had to recklessly and put you all in serious danger. Everyone! I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. What? Uh, what's wrong? You're totally different from before when you were ba in battle mode. Um. Suichi, you told me earlier not to give up hope. Uh, okay. That's right. I. I finally realized that you were right. My inner voice told me. Hmm. Your inner voice. I thought you said you couldn't hear it anymore. Well, I had the Mono Cubs repair me in addition to removing my battle gear. And now, for some reason, I can hear my inner voice again. That's like the most Japanese thing ever. It's <laughs> it's like you can tell someone's personality in anime through like the fucking hair strand on top of their head. And Kibo's like, yep, that is my personality module. So he can hear it again after the repairs. But it looks like his hair looks like an antenna. Does that mean it wasn't just di dis uh god disorient god damn it that it wasn't just decoration? Did I just say decoration? What the hell is wrong with me today? And now that I think about it, what is his inner voice exactly? What does he hear? He hears the truth. Kill them all, Kibo. Do not let them live. It was wrong to try to destroy everything just to avoid losing to despair. Even if I had followed through, there would have been no hope or future left afterwards. In which case, my actions would have merely resulted in a different despair altogether. I do not expect you to forgive me. What I did was foolish. Please. But will you allow me to fight alongside you? I want to help you find the truth. Please. I'm... Of course, Giba. That's what I wanted from the start. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have been able to do this. So, you'll allow me? What the fuck's the matter, Samugi? Why are you so angry? Jeez. Would you prefer I not help? I'm not mad, I'm just holding myself back. When someone says please that strongly, I always want to respond with, but I refuse. <laughs> I always want to respond with, but then God said. <laughs> what if I said this? But then Samugi said this. But I can read the mood here, so I'm holding back. Well, of course. It's fine. Yeah, I'm okay now. Of course you can fight with us, Kibo. Hmm. There's a big wall between living things and objects, but you're our friend, Kibo. Everyone! Thank you. What the fuck? Himiko, what the hell? By the way, Maki, I've been meaning to ask you, but... What is that vacuum cleaner you're carrying? I see. It's the bug vac. I think Okichi designed it and had Mew make it. I see. Ah, yes. Not had mentioned something about tiny bugs before. Okay. Yes, I thought it would be a clue or something. But we can't seem to catch any bugs with it. It doesn't seem like there's any. <sighs> hey, if we find bugs, that means that there's living organisms around. And if bugs are alive on planet Earth, humans can be about too! So it really was just Gonta's imagination after all. No. Wait, it might be too soon to determine that. Can we wait until I examine it with my eyes, at least? Your eyes? You got some sort of x-ray scanner in there? Um. What do you mean, Kibo? You. What good can your eyes do? It's not like you got good eyesight, right? Yeah. That was true until I installed my zoom function. Huh? Your zoom function? Yes. It was in my lab, next to the jetpack and rocket launcher. Thanks to the zoom function, my vision has increased a hundredfold. Huh? A hundredfold. That would make sense if he was like flying around with fucking below average eyesight. What did you say? That's a power up that goes way past your default settings. But this is true talent of the this is the true talent of the ultimate robot. Because I'm a robot, I can evolve in ways that are simply not possible for a human. I finally accepted that. Aw, Kibo, you accepted that you are a robot. There are notable, uh, notice, uh, notice, ah, I can't read. There are notable differences between us, but there's nothing for me to be ashamed of. 
I also... Because with my talent, it's possible that I can save you all. Kibo looked at the bug back. Ma from Maki. Leave it to me. It's worth a shot. At maximum zoom, my vision is on par with that of a microscope. Maki, I'll borrow this bug back for a moment. He started and then he started. He stared at it intensely. Are there any particles on it? I see it. I'll print out this memory. There's a little Monokuma bug in it. Just as before, Kibo printed a picture from right out of his mouth. He took it from his lips and handed it to me. Huh? Is this Monokuma? Oh my god. That's how Monokuma's been watching us. Holy shit. That's some dope ass technology. Hey. Are these the small bugs Gonto was talking about? Yes. A human's eye would not be able to see things that exist at a, no uh, at a nanoscopic level. For Gonto to have Gonto. Damn it. I'm out of it. I'm out of it. That's what's happening. I was reading so well last stream. This stream can't do it. Take a sip of my soda. For Gonto to have noticed them, his vision was really superhuman. Hey. Hey. What are these things holding? Are they holding cameras? Well then. Why don't we ask them? Huh? We can talk to this? Leave it to me. Yes, I've already installed an augmented hearing function. What was that? I guess anything is possible. Start talking now, or I'll squish you one by one. Whatever function you serve, you'll be unable to carry it out. Do you accept these terms? Kibo asked in a way that made it clear it was not up for negotiation. They call themselves Nanokumas. Apparently, they're members of the Monocubs. What? This little thing? They're members of the Monocubs. Oh, fucking God. Then there were actually six Monocubs? Not quite. These don't exist as individuals, but rather as a hive mind. They travel through the air in a swarm, covering every square inch of this campus. So it's not just one. It's a whole swarm of monocubs. If they're that small, they could have been in my nose or mouth, and I'd never know. I don't like the thought of that. And their function is to record footage of the events that are unfolding here and transmit it to Monokuma. What? Using their tiny cameras, they record footage and transmit it wirelessly. Mother Kuma receives the footage and parses it before sending it off to Monokuma. But I guess that's useless now since Mother Kuma is dead. You mean, like a security camera? They're so small that they can be that they can't be seen with the naked eye. They must be the security cameras. The Six Monokub. <laughs> so there are security cameras after all. Hey. And they've been recording the footage wirelessly? Kokichi was correct to use the electro bomb. That punk. When he used it, the nano God. When he used it, the nanokumas were unable to send any footage back to Monokuma. You're right. Yes. In that case, I doubt Monokuma knew that real Ugh. I doubt he knew the real culprit. Fuck, I can't read tonight. I should cancel the stream. <laughs> I'm so bad. The more I learn, the more I wish that Kokichi had just worked with us normally. But... And that's impossible. No matter how many times he... Reiter... Ugh, oh, God. Re reincarnates. That's the word. That's the word. Read. Reincarnates. He's a liar down to his soul. I never would have imagined that the six Monokub would be security cameras. That's how Monokuma was able to keep watch of this entire academy. He's toying with us. He's not just confident, he's sure he's gonna win. I know that must be what he's thinking. Oh yeah. At least we know that important detail now. I'm glad you told us that before the class trial. Thank you. Yes, thanks, Kiba. By the way. You're welcome, but we should get moving now. That's true. Yeah, we don't know what Monokuma will do if we show up late. That's fine. You're right. Then let's start heading to the trial grounds. Okay. Okay. Time for the trial to end all trials.
Alright, let's go. There's no point in warring anymore, right now. We're, we only need to think about getting out of here alive. And so, we put the destroyed Ultimate Academy behind us, and headed to the final trial grounds. Carrying the last of the survivors, the elevator brought us down. What could be waiting for the five of us? I'm sure this is the end of despair and the beginning of hope. Everything ends here. Everything. The killing game of Hoax Peak Academy, the killing game of Jabberwock Island, and the killing game of this ultimate academy. How much more until they're satisfied? This is the end of it. I'm tired of this. We're going to end it. We're going to end this cruel game. So, this is the final trial grounds. <laughs> it's not up to you or me to decide whether or not this is the end. Huh? It's up to the supporters and those who buy our games, and the creators. And hopefully, maybe one day, they will remember that Danganronpa VR needs to be a thing because that fucking demo is the coolest shit ever. What do you mean? Well, well. More importantly, since you guys requested that we hold this class trial, I'm sure you won't mind allowing me to participate too, right? Right. It'll be easier to argue if I do. That's true. True, I was gonna have you participate this time, but I didn't think you'd volunteer. What is it? You seem confident. <laughs> With my magic. You're confident now? But I'm gonna turn your body into a omnibus omnibus. With my magic. <laughs> the omnibus. Isn't that like a isn't that like a uh isn't that an indie game? <laughs> Actually. An omnibus? Do you mean the vehicle or like a compilation book or something? Yeah. Knock it off! I won't be provoked by your cheap threats. Aww. He seems really provoked. Yeah, but if Pops is going to participate, things are going to get pretty damn interesting. Father! You can do it, Father. Get a rock hard ranger! What the hell was that voice line? <laughs> we'll cheer you on until our voices are hoarse and bleeding, right, Mono Dam? That's wonderful. This is beautiful. House. Hmm. You cheer me on. You guys are totally tar- uh, totally tar? <laughs> totally participating too! Hey. What? Ahem. You kids have a pivotal role to play. What kind of dad would I be if I hogged the spotlight? And if you kids don't play a pivotal role, then what What use of you are? Like, what um. use of you are? I had a stroke. What use are any of you? Fuck, what's wrong with me? Can we just get to the trial so I don't have to read no more? Pivotal roll? Can we really do it? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. As a good parent, I will do my darndest to motivate you. Well, With this button. What? What's that button for? <laughs> it's a Monoku Monokuma Detonator that I prepared to ensure my adorable kids do their very best. <gasps> detonator? Yeah. Yep. With a push of a button, I'll detonate the bombs inside each of your bodies. So make sure you try really hard, or I'll start pressing this button, got it? Hey. That's too far. Here. You know what they say, if your kids are cute, put a bomb inside them. You stupid. That's not a real saying. Cause. I know you're cute kid, I know you're, oh god, I know you kid, yeah, la, 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 fuck. <laughs> I know you cute kids can do this. You just need the proper motivation. So, no need to worry, just make sure you all play a pivotal role, got it? How absurd. I knew it. You really are the worst. <laughs> I'm the best at being the worst, don't you think so? <laughs> I'll tell you, people can't get enough of my crude antics. Alright, let's get this started. Let's get this crude climax underway.
Would you like to save? I have no choice. <laughs> I have no choice in this matter. Oh, no, like, oh man, I was hoping to have, like, the, you know, the character portraits come down and so we should be like, in this trial of, of lies and truth. Alright. What do we got? We have no fuck. We have nothing. <laughs> so just start the fucking trial. by asking Shuichi a question since this class trial was his idea all right Monokuma what exactly is the point of this class trial to defeat the mastermind find out the truth of this Academy and find out the truth of the outside world yeah why are we having a class trial if no one died whoa my voice was way louder than I expected I might be on a roll today Hey! I'm no slouch of being a loud mouth either! Me too! Monodum's voice is super soft though. Everyone cool with him getting blown up? Everyone cool with him getting blown up? Yeah, I'm cool with that. You said that the killing game would end if you exposed the truth at the class trial. So, you bastards, what is the purpose of this class trial? Oh! That's a good question! But his voice was quiet. Does voice for him not matter at all? The purpose of this class trial. All right, I'll give you an answer. The reason I called for this trial is... Retry a past case. That's it! It's I all coming together. Past case. A retrial? For which case? The first one. The murder of Rantaro Amami. I've found new evidence relevant to the case. In light of that evidence, I demand a retrial. What's the point of a retrial? The result of the first class trial has already been settled. Yeah, but if the result was false, we should all be dead. You broke the rules, Monokuma. Yeah, yeah. What if our vote was wrong? Yeah. Wrong? Monokuma said the blackened for that incident was Kaede. Are you saying he was wrong? Whoa, 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 what? Monokid, your reactions are too extreme. It's making the rest of us look bad. Oh, oh shit, he's already got the <laughs> He said, oh shit. <laughs> to test the validity of our vote, we're going to retry the entire case. Oh, hey, Mongo, welcome back. Hope you if had a lovely Monokuma day. Was wrong, the validity of these trials would be in question. Damn right they would be. The entire killing game wouldn't make sense anymore. I see. You think you can destroy the game by calling out my failure as the game master? You shouldn't have a problem with this if you have nothing to hide, Monokuma. <laughs> so in the end, the first case has become the focal point yet again. What a twist. What an interesting twist. Okay, let's do this. The end of Tangerop was so sad. So what is this new truth? Depends, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, they're usually they're usually happy endings, but I wouldn't put against this game if they went for a sad ending, if we all died. <laughs> there are several. But before we go any further, I want to discuss Rantaro's talent. Unless you're talking about like the end of uh uh what what's it called? Despair arc of Danganronpa 3. That one's pretty sad. <laughs> that one made me felt bad. Did you learn what his talent was? Rantaro's ultimate talent was a mystery, but now I know. He is the ultimate survivor. 
That's it. Something I called way ahead of time. The ultimate survivor. Ultimate survivor? I saw it too. He said so in his video. <laughs> Our nonsense? What's nonsense? If it's not spoilers. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. That's what you got. That's why you got this perk, the survivor perk. Rantaro became the ultimate survivor after surviving a past killing game. Don't cry, you nonsense. I I'm nonsense. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. After his memory was wiped. He participated in the killing game once again. So this wasn't Rantaro's first killing game? Why did he participate in a second killing game? Why is my fucking wire wrapped around here all stupid like? I was wondering what the hell was tugging my wires. What the fuck? I'm just move this stuff out the way real quick. I'm not sure yet. But after I learned that Rantaro was the ultimate survivor, I deduced his objective. Rantaro's objective? The reason he went to the library before he was killed, and why he knew about the hidden door. Didn't he just happen to randomly notice the hidden door? That's what I thought at the time, but it appears that assumption was false. Maki's a survivor? Am I happy? Of course I'm happy! If Maki- Listen, even though Maki doesn't love me, and she loves Kaito, Okay, I'll roll my eyes at that. Fuck yourself, Mikey. Remember who defended your ass in the trial? Jesus, fuck. Who lied through their teeth for you? Anyways. <laughs> the fact that Maki's alive makes me happy. And at the end of the day, she doesn't have a choice. We're the last humans on Earth. We gotta repopulate somehow. <laughs> Kill him with kindness. The most beautiful words in the American language. I give up. <laughs> there was an actual reason Rantaro knew about the door. Yes, that reason is his survivor perk. That's it. Rantaro was given this monopad as a kind of survivor perk. It has a map of the entire academy, including areas that had not yet been unlocked. Why is the home button on this pad sideways? It's on the horizontal. You know, it's on the side. That makes it makes me feel bad. To think Rantara was given that as a survivor perk. Do I know Skullgirls? Of course I know Skullgirls. Too bad that uh fucking Mike Zero tainted that shit. God, I hate that guy. Always hated that guy. <laughs> I knew I hated that motherfucker for a reason. That guy's a dickhead. He found out about the hidden room with this map? Well, at least uh, he doesn't own Skullgirls, right? Lab Zero doesn't own Skullgirls, right? It's owned by a different company. So he didn't get the rights to Skullgirls, fucking, um... But he did keep the rights for, uh... For Indivisible, which sucks. Because Indivisible was alright. It wasn't the coolest game, but it was pretty chill. I liked it. The monopad also contained a video Rantaro recorded for himself. Yeah, but Skullgirls is the shit. I love Skullgirls. All the characters are pretty great. Except for, except for Sarah Bella. She's an asshole. Her story is like the most stupidest thing ever. Her story is literally like, man, I wanted some dick, so I did all that shit just to get some dick. And I'm like, what? <laughs> love Umbrella. How do you love Umbrella? Umbrella doesn't do anything. I don't understand why people like Umbrella. Umbrella doesn't do shit. Unlike Annie, right? I always liked Annie. And then fucking in the Beowulf story, she uh, she, she helped them out. The she was pretty badass. They would head to the, the message was oh, what shit. inspired him to go to the library. I did not mean to, to press that button. The hidden room. A, a time limit is now in effect. 
if a murder does not occur by nighttime two days from now, then every student forced to participate in this killing game will die. <laughs> and I love Umbrella. Mutilated, uh, mutilated. Yeah, mauled to strims, uh, strims. What the fuck is wrong with me? Mauled, <laughs> mauled to shreds by countless Monokumas from the rumored Monokuma making machine. The mastermind would have gone to that room Notice that Annie is famous and she has her series. Yeah, that's her whole thing. Her whole thing is that, uh, that she's like this fucking, she, A, she's a lowly character, right? Because her parasite makes it that she, she makes sure that she doesn't age or whatever. And she's like, what, 300 years old or some shit? I think they put that in there all as a joke. But in the meantime, she has her own, uh, she has her own TV show and shit. But on the flip side, she goes around like fucking hunting and fighting and shit. So in order to figure out who the mastermind was... Rantaro went to the hidden room at the back of the library just before time ran out. Did the DLC for Annie come out in the game? That's right. Rantaro must have come to the same conclusion that Kaede and I did. Can I stream Skullgirls? Maybe for Halloween. Because I do have second Encore. Sure is ironic that the ultimate survivor died because of Kaede's trap. I also have to thank Skullgirls because that's what got me back into fighting games. I used to fucking just hate fighting games for the longest time. But if Rantaro had a clue like that, why didn't he come to us with it? I assume because he didn't trust us. The killing game had just started after all. What he said in his video message certainly didn't help either. He told himself to only share this information with people he could trust. He didn't have any recollection of filming this message, right? That means he must have had trouble believing it as well. It was probably confusing to him, too. That's why he didn't consult us. Arantaro didn't even believe himself. Why the long face? It's nothing. I figure no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So, what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... Can I even trust myself? He didn't know if he could trust that video, or trust Do I know us, Valentine? Or even trust himself? She's, uh... She's my, um... On my PS3, I have a custom theme, and it's Skullgirls, and she's on the background. Valentine is... Probably my go-to character in that game, just because she's just really easy to play. He must have been so lost. I'm not that good at Skullgirls. <laughs> I like fighting games, but Skullgirls was too much for me. I'm only good at playing like uh, Misfortune, Valentine, Peacock's pretty easy to play because she's a keep away. Uh, I'm not even good at Philia, who's supposed to be like you know the plain Jane of the group. But with the time limit approaching, he decided to take a chance. Robo Fortune's fun too. <laughs> There's no need for that, because I'm gonna end this game. I've already decided. You're gonna end this game? It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game, it's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Can you even accomplish such a feat? I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. So we went to the library alone without telling But do I know her backstory? Yeah. She was part of like this task force to fight the skull girls and then she got her ass handed to her. Her whole team died and everything and fucking uh and then Marie was all like, "Hey, you're cool. Want to join up?" And she said, "Sure, whatever. I'll stab you in the back later, bitch." <laughs> And then she made Pain Wheel. And then he got killed by Kaede's trap. The only people who knew about the hidden door at that time were Rantaro and I. How she transformed? What do you mean how she transformed? What do you mean like why she why she was evil? <laughs> I had Kaede with me, and I thought I could trust her, so I told her about the hidden room. 
I love how in Skullgirls none of the fucking story matters anyways because at the end, at the end, um, <laughs> at the end, there's like this scene where they're all like, hey, guess what? All these stories are probably like multiple timelines or some shit and none of it matters. That was the difference between me and Rantaro, I suppose. I had Kaede. And Kaede's the one who killed him! What a snake! Hey, so what are you guys talking about? Is this something I forgot? I don't know anything about what they're saying. Is this something that transpired before we were born? <laughs> before we were born? So what's your point? My point is that you know who ran trials Taro fucked was up and why he did what he did. But it's pointless now, isn't it? No, it's not pointless. Now that we know this new information, if we look back at Rantaro's case, we can find a new truth that we missed at the time. A new truth? I don't really get it, but we just need to look at Rantaro's case again, right? Can you guys do me a quick favor and tell me if the volume for the game is too low or not? Then let's do it. Yes, let's do this together. Because I feel like it might be low. My last magical powers. I'll turn Monokuma into an omnibus. I don't really get that either. But I guess we're going to republish Monokuma. I'm not too sure either. But the real battle's just beginning. We'll prove that the results were wrong and corner the mastermind together. Alright, let's let's start this fucking debate off. History of Hope's Peak, Kokichi's Rantaro motivation. Went to the library. Two mysterious messages. Just before Monokuma's time limit expired. Hidden dorm library survivor. Using the information provided by the survivor bird, he made his way to the hidden door. Okay. To expose the identity of the mastermind. But before he could achieve that goal, he got hit in the head with a shot football and died. Because of Kaede's fully automatic killing machine! Eh? Fully automatic? There was no culprit at the scene. The only one in the library at the time of the murder was Rantaro himself! That's a fact, right? The camera went off just before the incident. And only Rantaro was in the picture. Hmm. Rantaro was the only one at the scene. That's what we conclude in the first trial. But was that really true? What? <laughs> Did I buy games? What do you mean? What are you asking? <laughs> what do you mean do I buy games? Of course I buy games. What? <laughs> no. I'm confused. Went to the library. Just before Monokuma's time limit expired. Okay, hold up. Using the information provided by the survivor. Go for project. He made his way to the hidden door. Can I uh uh I wanna check. Hidden door. However, when exiting the library from the hidden room, no car key would Oh can I Do we have all the pictures or just the first one? You know what? To expose hidden doorway. Because the they didn't they could have been in the library and just you know, he walk their the ass to the bathroom. Because of Kaede's fully automatic killing machine! Fully automatic? There was no culprit at the scene. The only one in the library at the time of the murder was Rantaro. That's wrong! I missed! Holy fuck! Oh shit! That's Damn it! Fact, right? Jesus! I wish it didn't take forever. Reload. What do you mean, don't buy games Rantaro on the computer? The, the hell's wrong with you? If you don't buy them, they won't make them anymore. Using the information provided by the survivor perk, like, I'm poor as shit, but I still buy my games. I work hard to, to buy them. The identity of the mastermind. But before he could achieve that goal, gaming is a very expensive hobby. There's also like a bunch of sales to take advantage machine. of too. Eh? Fully automatic? There was no culprit at the scene. 
The only one in the library at the time of the murder was Rantaro himself. Oh my god, why do I suck so bad at this? Fucking someone shoot me, kill me. Oh my god. So mad. Rantaro went to the in the library at the time of the murder come on and it was wrong either way so fuck it <laughs> they totally could have had enough time to run out of there Rantaro went to the huh. library. Survivor perk. Just before Monokuma's time limit expired. Let me see the. Let me see what we have written down for this. Clue to end. Il, uh, clue to end killings. Mastermind who's behind killing games hiding somewhere within this academy. Oh really? That that's what is that the part we're gonna focus on? Just the, just the words hiding somewhere in the academy. Hmm. Fired. Using the information provided. Guess we can use survivor perk on that then. Fuck. Fresh pencil. Their lair ass fucking spinning letters. I hate this shit. <laughs> I wish it slowed it down a bit more. Or maybe the speed up went a little bit faster. That would be nice. There we go. That's wrong. Fuck. No, Rantaro was not the only one in the library at the time the murder occurred. This survivor perk monopad is proof of that. Why would that monopad be evidence? The monopad was given exclusively to Rantaro as his survivor perk, correct? And then the mastermind snatched it away after he died. But when we searched Rantaro's body, he didn't have it on his person. He only had his student handbook monopad. Which means that someone took this monopad from Rantaro after the murder. That's very wrong! What do you mean that's very wrong? Poor Carol, she Whoa, suffers every that's time? What we've been saying. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, 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 pain wheel. <laughs> yeah, her whole her whole thing is sadness. <laughs> what? Uh, keep quiet, will you? I don't have time for your nonsense right now. Really? I have no clue what anyone is talking about. If we don't chime in soon, Pops is gonna push the detonator. Then we better not let these fucking chumps run their mouths anymore! Alright, what are you gonna rebuttal with, you fucking cubs? Come on. Go for Project Location's Moto video, Survivor Purr. Bloody monopad is disgusting. There we go. You should wash it right away. That's not a real rebuttal. Someone stole the Survivor Perk monopad. Where's the proof? No way there's a bloody thief. Now oh, shit, Blade Lock. Get the hell out of here. But remember, Rantaro brought the Survivor Perk Monopad to the library. If it's missing now, that must mean someone stole it. He brought that Monopad to the library? I think there's maybe no way that's possible. All he had on him was the Student Handbook Monopad! He didn't bring the Survivor Perk with Fuck, him. I missed! There we go. I'll cut through your words. No, there is no doubt Rantaro brought the Survivor Perk Monopad to the library. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me laugh. Laughing at his final moments. No, it was definitely the same monopad. 
You see the way the blood has dried here? The outline of his fingers matches how he was holding it in the picture. My question is, if he got bonked on the head, why is his hands all bloody? Oh, Had to turn right. off your Wi-Fi to do some duplication glitch? Oh, God. <laughs> well, don't go, don't go hacking my shit now. Shortly after this photo was taken, Rantaro was struck in the head by the shot put ball. You turn off your Wi-Fi for a duplication glitch? <laughs> that's so much work! Do you think that's when this bloody outline on the monopad was formed? I do. That's why the monopad Rantaro is holding in this picture. It has to be the same monopad we have now. What? Need to get disconnected from the server. You can't manually disconnect from the server? You know what, there's, there's a part of me right now that I'm just looking at the side of my Twitch bar and it's like, hey, Final Fantasy XIV Life Letter's going, don't you want to watch that? And I'm like, yeah, I do. Fuck. <laughs> Come on, no overreacting. It makes us look like we're not paying attention. Scream all you want. Monastery is the one that's going to get blown up. Oh, shit. Ah, He's the first one to die again. some pretty fireworks even in death my kids are real cutie i hear lions push their cubs into bottomless ravines to kill them yeah they don't kill them yeah they do so there was a thief huh hippos kill their young too because they're like i don't want them taking so taking my position of power it's like some weird tech and shit out there in the animal kingdom throw motherfuckers off of cliffs so who took the monopad? Do you know anything else? Do we know anything about the person who took Rantaro's monopad? Yes, I think we do. Let me get the facts straight. Oh shit. I really don't like fucking psychic taxi or whatever the hell this shit is. I just feel like it takes too long. And it's usually not that difficult. Alright. Oh wait, there's one more letter. How many monopaths did Rantaro bring to the library? Oh, come on. Whatever, there's just one right here. I'll just pick it up. Ugh. He brought two of them. Instead of a slow down button, there should be a boost button. He brought two. Hop in, bitch! <laughs> You're cool. Get in! Look at this Mario Kart ass shit right here. Uh, shit. All right, which monopad was taken away? The survivor perk. Of course, it'd be the survivor perk. So you've been playing too much Call of Duty, there, son. Take off those perks. Bet you get no kills now. Man, I gotta say, the newest Call of Duty game looks really nice, but I'm so done with Call of Duty. I've been done with Call of Duty for like the past, what, five years now? I'm just like, eh, fuck it. Also, I found it really weird when they were showing it off that Laura Bailey fucking came on stage, and she's all like, I did a bunch. First of all, love Laura Bailey. Uh, Laura Bailey? Wow. Laura Bailey, nothing against her, right? I love her. But. At the end, <laughs> she she comes on like the stage and she goes, "Really, really? You had to, you really had to do that, huh? Huh? 
<laughs> you really had to write that. Said, oh, oh shit, I wasn't even paying attention. Did I get the right one? Yeah, I did. Yeah, but she shows up on stage and she goes, I did a lot of researching and thinking and preparing for this role of this powerful female lead. And I'm like, oh man, that's really cool. And then they show the gameplay and the whole entire time, the character says not one word and just grunts the whole entire time and screams. And I'm like, wow, they just spent like fucking 20 minutes telling me how this is the most powerful female lead they ever had. And the only thing I got out of that showcase was, ha, ha, uh, and I'm like, okay. But I mean, it's Activision, so hearing women scream, I guess, you know, I guess there's nothing, you know, nothing to be surprised about there. You know what I mean? Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I went there. I'm missing all the letters. What the hell is wrong with me? There we go. Who can enter the hidden room? The mastermind. Fuck the new cod. <laughs> it looks, looks like hot shit. I think it looks great. I'm done with Call of Duty, but like, you know, the other Call of Duties, I would say that they look like shit, right? But the newer one, I was looking at it and I was like, you know what? It looks really fun, actually. But, eh. They did so good in 2019. Which one was 2019? Was that World War II? <laughs> World War II was kind of lackluster. I felt like nobody bought that game. Modern Warfare reboot. Oh yeah, I complete. I was gonna fucking. Well, do you mean like the remaster of Modern Warfare or like the uh, what's it called, Advanced Warfare? I didn't buy Advanced Warfare, but I played the VR like mission thing that they had for it. Because I was like, fuck it, more VR shit, I'll do it. The mastermind. The survivor perk monopad was found in the library's hidden room. Let's see. Modern warfare. Oh, oh, you mean fucking oh yeah, no, I Yeah, I played the beta for that when they were doing the 2v2 shit, and then that was kinda it for me. I didn't really care about the fucking battle royale shit they were doing. Yeah. I, I really didn't care for that. I still don't care for it, honestly. And only the mastermind would have been able to enter that room, correct? <laughs> Fuck battle royale is a shit mode. Depends on how they do it. Sometimes it can be fine. Like I'm looking forward to the uh, uh, masquerade bloodlines battle royale shit that they're doing. I think that can be fun if they, you know, if it's not glitchy as shit, because it might just be the most glitchiest game ever. Between the time Rantaro died and when we found him, they put that monopad in the hidden room? Nope! That's impossible! Impossible? Why? Huh? You don't know? Why, even my cute little cubs have already figured it out! They did so good, it was a slower game. Uh, now that I think about it, wasn't there like a thing going on when that game came out with the story that people were getting mad about? That it, like, I, I, like, I don't know too much about it, because I usually, you know, stay away from shit like this, but wasn't it, like, wasn't it, like, uh, something along the lines of, like, fucking, they were getting into, like, the efficacies of fucking, you know, warfare and shit, and, like, civilians getting in the way, and then some, and then something that happened that America blamed on the Russians or something like that? I don't even know. Yeah. See? Yeah, it was a bunch of bullshit stuff. Okay. I just remember people talking about it and getting mad about it. I'm like, eh, it's army shit. Like, no no disrespect, but I'm like, at the end of the day, everyone's gonna have their opinions when it comes to war and shit. And it's like, no matter what you do, no matter what side you stand on, people are gonna get mad about it. Huh? We have? Which, you know, everyone has the right to do that. Because it's people lives we're talking about here. Yeah, so... I'll let Monotaro explain. They changed the story aspect from real life. And instead of the US using gas bombs and civvies, they said it was the Russians. Ooh. Ooh. That's not good. Ooh, that's really not good. Ooh. 
Now, now I think it's all coming back to me. And at the time, people were like getting on the fucking army's case too, because they're like, aren't they sponsoring Call of Duty or some shit to get new recruits or something? I don't know. If I, I'm, I'm staying away from that shit. I don't know. I just remember. I'm just. It's all come back to me. I'm like, ugh, God, I feel so bad. Huh? I've already forgotten what we're even talking about. Yeah. Either way, whatever. There's really nothing you can do about it. Nothing we can do about it. You know, Call of Duty's gonna sell. People are gonna buy it no matter what. Oh crap! He's gonna push it. It's gonna be Monikin all over again. The mastermind is not in any of the photos taken in the library. Why is that? Huh? Oh, that's true. In order to get to the hidden room, you need to move the bookcase, right? Why isn't the mastermind in there? But Shuichi and Kaede set up those hidden cameras, so... We're still going off of photos that the Mono Cubs gave to us. There could have been other photos. If the mastermind was using that door, they would have been caught on camera. Feels like 2017 COD. Which one? It's been, again, I can't remember them all. Was 2017 Black Ops 4? None of the pictures showed anyone like that. It feels and plays like shit. <laughs> eh. then, that reasoning is I think wrong. I was done with- Honestly, I think I was done with Call of Duty like way after- I mean way after- way before like World War II and shit. Probably around Black Ops 2. Not because I didn't like Black Ops 2, but people kind of just killed it for me. You know, whenever somebody wants to play Call of Duty, it was like, do you want to play survival? You want to play zombies? And I'm like, dude, I'm tired of running around in a circle with fucking zombies. It's so boring. You want to run the Easter egg for the 50 millionth time? Like, no, I don't. Easter egg sucks. This sucks. The fucking system barely works half the time. I don't care. Amazing, Fuck you. Monica. I'll go play my Devil May Cry. Hold on. The hidden cameras in the library had interval timers. Only car you bought was 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 was pretty good. I like Modern Warfare 2. It's full of hackers now, but, you know. I remember everyone got excited for Modern Warfare 3, and then I I bought it, I played it, and I was like, man, this game just feels like shit. And for some reason, Modern Warfare 3 was when everyone wanted to drop shot, and I was like, eh, it's a strategy, but at the same time, it kind of sucks that I gotta shoot for people's ankles first, because I'm expecting them to hit the ground. Let's see. Metaphor cut is stupid as fuck. <laughs> Be fast, jump shot, skipping, eh. God doesn't work. <laughs> it's weird. Your bullets aren't even really your bullets. After the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. Because I redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. Oh, Mew, I miss you. The mastermind worked within that 30 second interval. I see. So the mastermind hid in the hidden room, waited for the right timing, grabbed the monopad from the library, and then returned to the hidden room. Hold on. There's a flaw in your logic. What? what wouldn't it take flaw? time to open the door? Right? The, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be more than 30 seconds for the card reader to read that shit? Huh? Don't ask me. The Mono Cubs are gonna explain it. What? Again? New tech where you can double sprint and jump backwards almost like twice the speed. That's double sprint now. Oh, God. So you run into a room, get intel on what's going in the room, then go back, knowing everything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Me, when I play Call of Duty, I just ran around with a shotgun. <laughs> that was it. It always worked for me. Right? I'm like, eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what tech they do in Call of Duty. High level tech. Call of Duty is a game about, did, did you see the guy first? Shoot him. Right? It doesn't even matter because half of your shots make like fucking Danny Phantom anyways. <laughs> I swear to God, like, all the times when people are like, hey, you want a quick scope? And I'm like, sure, whatever. And then I'm like, bro, since when you became Danny Phantom, going through my bullets and shit, what, what's that about? Reject your logic without explaining why. That's the Monokuma debate style. Take it from here, Mono Cubs. And you better use your brains or I'll kill ya. Don't kill them. 
not a Battlefield fanboy, but people are saying it's Battlefield Killer. You still don't have an anti cheat. <laughs> what are we arguing about again? I don't know what we're arguing the, about. The hidden camera. Hidden camera. Final picture of Rantara. Isn't it weird that the mastermind's not in any photos? Unless They're probably they behind him. Interval between shots. Oh has shit. A 30 second interval between shots. That's enough time to take the monopad from the body. Then where was the mastermind hiding? In the hidden room, of course. Uh uh. If they were still inside the hidden room, how would they know what was happening in the library? True. If you don't know when the camera went off, how would you know the interval timing? Bravo, Monodon. Wonderful objection. Now we've escaped certain death. Okay. All right, I got it. It's what the six monoka. <laughs> We need six mono cub on mono dams. Uh, mono dam asking, how the fuck you know? Huh? If they were still inside the hidden room, how would they know? Well, bam! Aha! Wouldn't it take time for for the footage to be fed to Mother Kuma, and then uh, brought back to the mastermind? Happening in the library. They had surveillance cameras. Cod came out day. One had cheaters at the man. <laughs> they had. Yeah, that's every Call of Duty. You're just like, whoa, the game just came out. How you a thousand? How you fucking a thousand already? No life having, motherfucker. <laughs> so you played in Battle Royale and didn't get in 2020. You lose. Okay. All 20 guns were added, broken, and there. Yeah, all to me, the day DLC for Call of Duty died was like Black Ops 3. I remember going back to it and fucking there's like this weird saw blade thing, and I just got in the game and it just kept like bouncing around the spawn, and I couldn't even move. And I was like, "Yep, now nah, I'm done." <laughs> I was like, "This is over." Surveillance cameras. What? what? Uh, where would? Uh something like that be you don't know even though they're mono cubs just like you <gasps> mono cubs i mean these <gasps> so cute and tiny oh the rampart that's what it was called they're rampant siblings too i don't know if i i just remember getting in the game and i'm like what is this tron shit <laughs> disc jumping off of walls and shit Cut me in half, and I'm like, what the fuck? That's a big reveal to drop so casually. These little guys are called nanokumas. They're How do Oops. You know that? I did not mean to skip that. Oh, father told me. He said to make sure I told everyone. I had completely forgotten about it. Good thing I just remembered. Dumbass! You remembered too late. Oh, you're gonna get blown up, Montaro. There are countless nanokumas buzzing all over the campus. So many cheaters in COD now it's unplayable and still won't add anti cheats. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, there's a part of me, there's a snarky ass part of me that wants to go like, it's Call of Duty, who the fuck cares, right? But at the end of the day, like, it's games that people like, so it'll be nice to not have people cheat, right? All the footage they record is wireless. But you know, at the end of the day, no one's ever gonna do that. Sadly, people can't play fair. Like, uh, I know recently, I was um, I had one of my friends. I was like, oh, you never played Dead by Daylight? Let's play together. So then, you know, get on Dead by Daylight, and we get into a custom game because I'm just gonna show him a couple of things, and then he's like looking at. I see him switch his character to Leon Kennedy and shit, and I'm like, oh, you bought the DLC? He's like, no. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, there's no fucking way you should be switching to those characters unless you had a DLC. And then we get into a game, he's like, well, I just bought the game or whatever. I'm like, okay. And then we fucking get into a game, and he's all like, so what do these perks do? And I'm like, what do what perks do? And he's like, listing off a whole list of perks, and I'm like, I'm like, how are you looking at those perks when you're on, like, Meg Thomas or some shit? And I'm like, bro, did you fucking... Did you hack the game or some shit? And he's all like, yeah, what about it? And I'm like, oh my fucking god. Like, I lost my shit. I was like, dude, I don't even want to play anymore. 
I'm sitting there playing Dead by Daylight. I'm like, Demi Gorgon's going away because people won't pay for this shit. And motherfucker's sitting there like, eh, I got everything for free. I paid for the game, though. It's like, you paid for the game that was on sale for like five bucks. Go fuck yourself. Yes, via Mother Kuma. The worst part about it, too, is that he, I know for sure that that dude makes more money than I do. And I'm poor as shit. And I buy everything that I play. Well, not everything. Depending on how, uh... How you get it, like for example, if it was like Shantae on the Game Boy Color, I'm not going to spend $300 on a Game Boy Color cartridge, that's just ridiculous, right? And then buy a Game Boy Color, you know, but you know, in reasonable, being reasonable enough, it's like, come on guys, just buy the shit. <laughs> if Mother Kuma receives the camera feeds, the mastermind could ask it anything. They would know about the situation in the library and the hidden room. I see. Mother Kuma can tell them the interval timers for the camera. Your fucking AAA company do something. You know, company don't want to spend any money or anything on anything. That's why uh, Sony just shut down the Little Big Planet servers, except for the sucky one. <laughs> then the yeah. mastermind was in the hidden room after they stole the monopad from Rantaro. Make you a D and D character? What do you mean? We're playing Danganronpa. But why would they steal the monopad? We're trying to get down to this shit. The mastermind was probably terrified by the I got time for that. Picking up Rantaro's perk. No, that's wrong. Give you ideas? All right. How about this? How about a very sleepy mage? <laughs> I wasn't. I wonder where I got that idea from. Afraid. Survivor perk was for Rantaro's eyes only. Sure, he could have shared the info with you. There's so many ideas that you can do for a D&D character, right? But I feel I always feel like they're always taken because there's so many. But that's not the same as getting the info directly from the monopad. Cause then you can't say it was a survivor perk for Rantaro's eyes only, right? So when he died, you're missing I the joke. <laughs> That's all. You said, come up with a D&D character. I said, okay, what about a really lazy, sleepy mage? And we're playing Danganronpa. I wonder where I got that idea from. <laughs> I don't know about that. Hmm. How do you figure? You look calm now. You know nothing about this game? Oh, uh, Himiko, the small lowly girl. She's an ultimate magician, but she doesn't call herself a magician. She's like, I'm a mage. Magic is real. And she's also, like, very lazy. <laughs> the monopad clearly stated that there was a mastermind in the academy. If we knew then that a mastermind was behind everything, we would have worked together. See, it's all full circle. You bring it back together. But you couldn't let that happen. You needed us to go after each other. Either way... You admit the Mastermind stole the monopad, right? Well, yes, but only reluctantly. Then the Mastermind <laughs> messed up. He's like, yeah, I admit it, but only reluctantly. Only because you put me in a corner. If they wanted to retrieve the monopad, they should have used Monokuma to See, there's it. Himiko. She's a mage. I like Himiko. She's cool. Nope, that's impossible. I'm surprised she survived this long. In a murder, which includes tampering with the crime scene. Oh yeah? It says you can't participate in a murder as Monokuma, but what about the mastermind? The school rules. If you're so strict about following the rules, does that mean that someone is watching? If that's the case. Still, what a waste of a survivor perk! If only he lived a little longer, then this info would have made things interesting. Ah, stop changing the subject. Yeah, Mon Kuma, cut it out. I'm trying to figure some shit out. I still don't have the whole picture, but it seems like we're all being watched. In that case, this plan should go well. Guys, I need ideas for playing horror games for uh, October. I'm going to do Corpse Party. I'll probably do some Alan Wake, and I know I'm going to play Scooby-Doo, and maybe I'll play Atlas of Madness Returns, because I've never touched that game a day in my life, and I always wanted to. 
I should be able to end this whole thing. But the point of this class trial is to discuss Rantaro's case, right? The mastermind stealing his survivor perk shouldn't affect it whatsoever. In the end, Kaede killed him. There's no shaking off that truth. Yeah, yeah! You're a whip man, but you rather hand a rapier? A better one uh, offhand a rapier and hand a crossbow. Mm. One truth prevails! No, that's not the truth. I'm certain of that. It's a lie that you made up. Me? Why? That's right. Kaede wasn't the one who killed Rantaro. Sounds pretty cool. The true culprit mm. is. One hand a rapier and one hand a crossbow. So what are you, a rogue? The real culprit that killed Rantaro is the mastermind. That's it. Whoa, that's crazy. I never saw that one coming. The mastermind controlling Monokuma. Mm -hmm. They're the one who killed Rantaro. The mastermind is the culprit? Rapier's enchanted dancing sword just got... Uh, just got... To, uh, oh, God, I can't read. Uh... Can spin action points to make it fly and fly. Oh, that's cool. So it's. It acts like a familiar? Does it act like a familiar? Can you make it act like a familiar? Or can you just, like. Do you just kind of, like, ramathal that shit and throw it and send it back to you? Jeez. Can you call yourself the ultimate detective? Trying to overturn the results of the first class trial. Kind of, but you need to control it. Oh, so it takes concentration. Don't know. He's come back at some point. No concentration, so it's just like a free, a free action you can do. Okay, that's cool. So while it's dancing around, you just shoot people. If Rantaro's killer is the mastermind, so you're, so you became <laughs> Alucard from fucking uh, Symphony of the Night. Have like the sword familiar and just like start punching things with the yeah. jewel knuckles. Got any evidence? You want evidence Kaeda is the culprit? The shot put ball at the murder scene. She used the camera flash to lure Rantaro in. And then cracked his skull with a shot put ball. Clues to the mastermind. Yep, yep, Kaede set up the hook. Clues to the mastermind. Hold on, let me see what that says. I just want to make sure. Uh. Clues to the mastermind. Uh, flashback lights, reverts, seem da 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 da. Goes to the library, huh? Okay, I just want to make sure if it talks about the shot put. Oh, thing. Even the lethal shot put ball. Where, where's shot put? Kaede yeah. had it all along. Eh. There we go. I saw through your lies. You cannot defeat me. I need to give a command. Have an enchant chain whip, 25 range. Really good damage. How strong can you make water whip? I need to know that. The shot put ball that Rantaro was killed with was different than the one Kaede had. What'd you say? I have no idea what's going on. A different shot put ball? What do you mean? I found a shot put ball in the trash can in the hidden room. But it was not the weapon alone is 1d8 plus 9 plus 4 plus 1d4. Is the one D four for like magic damage for like enchantment? Rather, there was a pink fiber stuck to that shot. That's without expending charges on the whip or using using your your kinsey. Oh god, god, I can't even say the word kinsey shit. Do you remember how Kaede was carrying the shot put? I want to play Neo. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I want to play Demon Souls or some shit. I'm in the mood for it. Kaede's backpack. She was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry it. It would have been easy to carry it in the backpack. I know she also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. It was wrapped in her spare vest. 
her pink vest. I see. The shop put ball Her vest is pink? Looks pretty like lavender to me. <laughs> All right? Yes. It's a fiber from her vest. Okay, it grows because the lowest roll on the whip is 15 still. Ooh. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. That can only mean that the ball I found was the one that was in Kaede's backpack. What you say? Really, I got no idea what you're talking about. That shot put ball did not have blood on it, so it could not have been the murder weapon. In short, the shot that Kaede used didn't hit Rantara. Then maybe they just washed off the blood. If they washed off the blood, then why is the fabric still there? If so, the fiber on the shot put ball would have been washed off as well. Uh huh. It's clear to me that the real murder weapon is different than the shot Kaede had. Yes, Kaede set up the. We book killed an innocent woman. We sentenced her to death. She didn't do it. Damn it. But that shot didn't hit Rantaro. Her plan failed. Failed? I don't even know what that means. If you found that shot put ball in the hidden room, then that means... I found the shot put ball in the hidden room because... The mastermind took it. That's it. Oh. The mastermind took it from the library. Only they could get in that room after all. The mastermind took it. So they recovered the shot that missed Rantaro, and he was killed by a different one. Rantaro was killed by the mastermind, who made it look like Kaede was the culprit. Damn, guys. She was innocent the whole time. That required a bit of trickery on the mastermind's part. They prepared their own shot to kill Rantaro, and switched it with Kaede's shot. They took Kaede's shot put ball and stowed it in the hidden room. To put it simply, Kaede didn't kill Rantaro. It was the mastermind. What? Did you say? Everyone calm down. Father is going to yell. Oh, Monodam. What? Monodam, why? Whoops, I got too worked up and accidentally pressed the detonator. He's your son. <laughs> you bastard. The mastermind killed Rantaro? But why? I believe the reason had something to do with a time limit motive. A time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by nighttime within the two days from now, then every student forced to participate in this killing game will die. You will all die by my hand. Kaede was also get four attacks a turn, then can... To kill each oh other. god. I just had like a stroke or some shit. <laughs> Then can then can reaction to use the flying god the flying rapier. Then can bonus action to use flurry blows. Two hits. Is that three weapons? Also shoot the crossbow. Two to six. The stalemate, rapier, the mastermind eight, introduced that motive. God, there's too much. There's too much. I played D&D for a while. I probably would never play it to get to that point. <laughs> Because usually, this usually I don't have that many, that many people who stick with it for that long. Because that would just end everything. They wanted an exciting killing game. Also, because COVID that started up. That put pressure <laughs> on the mastermind as well as us. Yes. Just hit level 15. Oh man. The I think Rantaro the highest I played was like to level seven, maybe. That reminds me. I got one of these days. I got to go back and and watch like. And like catch up on all that critical role shit. Either that or uh either that or what what is it called? High rollers that Yogg's cast does. However, her plan ultimately failed. The shot put ball that she rolled didn't hit Rantara. Because it missed, we would have been annihilated. Remember Camulus Buckling? <laughs> but the mastermind wanted Everyone's to avoid favorite dashing. So they took action. Uh was he a priest? <laughs> what was he a priest with daggers? Thanks to the Nanokumas, the mastermind and his goddess was Avandra. Intended murder weapon. So when her plan failed, they would already have another shot put ball prepared. Then 
The mastermind manipulated the scene to make it look like Kaede succeeded. It's gonna end at 16, been playing it for months. Ooh. All they had to do was hide Kaede's shot in the hidden room. Is it gonna go into like enter. another campaign? Is it gonna feed into like another new campaign? Like a uh, kind of like kind of like how like a story arc is? Or are you guys just gonna restart after that? So Kaede was executed on false charges? Who knows? Yes. Okay. Yes, she was. But she was executed nonetheless. I would say Kaede's execution is probably the most fucked up, right? Eh. Her execution and maybe Kyo's. Just that I don't feel bad for Kyo because he's a little murderer, but Kyo was like boiled alive. Because the mastermind framed her for Antaro's murder. And Monokuma played along. He let us believe the mastermind's lie. We were all fooled, including Kaede. We thought she was the culprit until the very end. And you want to tell us this game is fair? That there are rules? That's all bullshit! This game makes no sense at all. If Monokuma twisted the truth for this case, then he could have twisted it for the other cases as well, making this killing game unfair. Then, it's not even a killing game anymore. It's just... killing. But people die when they are killed. I won't forgive them. I'll never forgive them for breaking the rules and killing Kaede. So cruel. I'll never forgive them. And I will avenge Kaede. I swear on her kindness and her love and her grave that I will avenge her. Damn, Suichi, you must have really liked Kaede. Like, damn. This man's going, going on full force. Mind is also Rantaro's killer. Let's figure out who that is. That is, if Monokuma still wants to continue this class trial. Of course we're gonna keep going. Like I said, this killing game will never We end. just killed the older PC who left us and characters from other campaigns since we're in a great war setting right now. Oh. Do you mean like a older player character that became like a NPC or like someone who just left the group? Or were they still in the group and they fucked up and died? No, Monokuma. I will end this. I will reveal the identity of the mastermind and end the killing game. Um, may I interject? You keep accusing this so-called mastermind, but... They didn't you die, it was taken. Mastermind at all? What do you mean by taken? Are you sure you bastards aren't imagining it? If the mastermind is real, <laughs> Ooh, oh shit, I gotta it. sneeze. Fuck. You guys are the ones hiding them. He got spelled out by FaZe. And we didn't get him. <laughs> so there was a trap, and then no one saved him. He's like, come on, guys, what the fuck? It's possible the mastermind is still in the Revive me, I got a ray gun. So. <laughs> Basically, wow. Murder, there's no doubt. I did that before. <laughs> I've ignored one of my teammates and let them game. die and then I stole off their dead body. The I was like, you don't need this, right? I'll take it. Ah! You just on. What was that all about? I'm sorry, what the fuck just happened? What? It involved around Taro's murder, there's no doubt. I just realized something. Say it, or I'll cast my all the guys you date will be single fathers curse. Oh god, Himiko, what the fuck? It's Kaede's younger twin sister. Huh? What? Younger twin sister? It was a twin the whole time. It was on this gopher project participant list. She has a twin It was more like he got kidnapped. Cause we were in dungeons and he was holding he was holding the line and we, and we left the dm told him to make a roll and he disappeared oh god so what he disappeared and did the dm like pass him a piece of paper and say read that to yourself 
and the rest of you guys didn't know what the fuck happened? It seems sort of weird to me. Juku and Oshima had a twin too, okay. right? Are you saying so they got Samurai Jack? <laughs> Went to the future? Gotta make their way back to the past? This killing game was influenced a lot by the past one, right? So maybe the Mastermind's real identity was too. The Mastermind who snuck into the Academy and made us play the sick game. Is Kaede's twin sister? Kaede, what the fuck? Why is your twin sister evil? Either way, there's no doubt that the mastermind is. Our DM was like, you might be able to save your friend. Fucking murdered the old PC. <laughs> Not a second thought. Oh god. How unfortunate that you couldn't find them during your final investigation. It's always fun when a play a character dies, except for the person who's playing that character. <laughs> You're not allowed to leave while the They're like, come on, guys, it's my character. I love them. And it's like, uh uh. You can't leave during a trial unless you gotta pee. Oh, I gotta pee. We're not going for that one. Kaede's twin sister. Is the mastermind still hiding somewhere? Is she really the mastermind? Is she really that simple? <laughs> what the fuck, Suichi? He said it. Is that person really that much of a basic bitch? <laughs> Can you guys figure out the identity of the mastermind? Besides the 16 of us at this school. Who's the mastermind? Go for project. 17th person too. That 17th person is the mastermind. 17. It I don't... could be Kaede's younger twin sister. Just like the previous killing game. The Mastermind might have a twin for this game, too! If it really is the same as the previous Kirin game, then Kaede would still be alive. And she could potentially be the Mastermind. No, Kaede's dead. You're still no closer to the answer! No leaving while the trial's in session! Okay, according to the list of the Ghost Rides of Princess, Kaede had a twin sister. Can I read? Maybe it's correct, but we have to determine something first. All right, written on here to go for all participants. According to this document, Kaede had a twin sister. So shouldn't there be sixteen of us all together? Video message, memories of himself. What am I holding on to? History of Hope's Pico Kichi, Survivor Mono Pan, Six Month Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, hit the room library quite often. In addition, oh, flashback open. Hmm. Trying to see what the hell I can use here. I don't think it's Kokiji's mode video. Highly doubt that. Uh, afterward claims filed several esteemed researchers. Like your book, however, contradicts the memory Suichi and Maki received. Key passage document. Of following the cause of the biggest most tribal convenience, the ultimate despair. Junko, order plunge world despair. Hmm. Shelter project, Coast Academy did not admit students by application. Being scouted. Huh. Person too. That seventeenth person is the mastermind. It could be Kaede's younger twin sister. Just like the previous killing game. I need to. The mastermind might have a twin for this game too. If it really is the same as the previous killing game, then Kaede would still be alive, and she could potentially be the mastermind. Who cares? You're still no closer to the answer. No leaving while the trials in I'm actually like a little confused here. I think I might have to agree with Sanugi. Can you guys figure out the identity of the mastermind? Besides the six <laughs> There was a 17th person too. That 17th I don't know. Ah shit. Oh, I thought I missed it. Okay. Well, it's got to be that. Mastermind was in a hidden room making us kill each other. Damn it.
What did I use on that? Hope oh, I use Hokey Tits. No, 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 no. Participants list. There's only 16 of us. I'm sure of that. What? I was wrong. There can't be 17 of us. Can you guys figure out the identity of the Survivor perk, the six Monica, who's a mastermind. There was a 17th person too. That 17th the mastermind. I guess because that clue says that they often went there and that they were amongst us. Or maybe something like that. No, uh, on the, the people, can't be a one of the people is Paladin. That contradicts what Mother Kuma on. said. He was what? And to guard the crossbow. Which I haven't walked past. DM said he's banning me from using nets <laughs> on the next campaign because I always have a bunch of them and they work and it pisses off the DM. Yeah. Said, all right, new rules. You're, you can't use nets. Your character has a backstory. It's cursed. They have a hex on your family. Your whole family can't use nets no more. The one you're looking... Oh, God. The one you're looking for comes to the bathroom... Bathroom. Comes to this room quite often. Through the bathroom. It implies that the mastermind wasn't in the hidden room the whole time. They must have been coming and going between the room and the academy, right? Would someone who has to stay completely hidden really risk that? Right. If they were trying to hide, they would have just stayed put. I see. That's some impressive logic. Don't agree with him. And during the investigation, I found a classroom that makes flashback lights. Oh, uh, yeah. So they would have to, like, run back and forth to make the flashback lights and then fucking run back to uh, Mother Kuma and all that shit. A classroom that makes flashback lights? Uh, I'll explain the details later. But there was something interesting. Right at the moment, the classroom door suddenly burst open. Whoosh. There you are, Suichi. Emiko. Huh? The classroom changed back to normal. When the door is opened, the classroom... Character has 11 nets in his inventory state. currently. A rogue likes to go off on his own. <laughs> a lot. It, it's always a rogue. It's always a rogue who's all like, I'm going off on my own. Fuck you guys. I can do this by myself. And then they're on the ground in like two seconds. They're like, heal me! Someone save me! Clearly the room is hiding something. Isn't it obvious? Watch me do cool rogue things. <laughs> the mastermind didn't want anyone to see them making flashback lights. But why create such a classroom at all? If the mastermind were a 17th person, they wouldn't need to make that. They would just hide in like a room somewhere. They could have their own completely separate room to make flashback lights. Indeed, that would be much safer. Knowing this, we can make a few assumptions about the mastermind. Character's an asshole lot and he's drunk. However, Aww. the implications aren't good. Is he a is he a drunken fighter? What an ominous way to say it. But there's nothing to worry about. We got this far because we're friends. We're in this together no matter what. There's nothing to fear. Yeah, she's right. Guys, there is something to fear. One of us is the mastermind. The mastermind's identity. Considering the facts, we have my detective work points too. Huh. Kaede's twin sister, a participant in the killing That's game. It. The mastermind is most likely one of the participants of this killing game. W one of the participants? One of the 16 people who were forced to play this game. Man. One of us. There's definitely some people here who I really didn't care that they died. And then there are some characters that I'm like, I will miss you. What did you say? The classroom that makes flashback lights and the he's piled in for background stuff because he's kind of <laughs> kind of ball multi. Okay. Ball multi uh, bell monty. Oof. God, I can't even say that shit. So you mean like you mean like fucking like Castlevania type? 
Monk and Paladin currently. Yeah, okay. So he, he's walking around with the fucking Belmont strut. It all suggests that the mastermind is throwing axes every day at the academy. Holy water. Someone we'd see every day. Like one of the 16 students? Rapier, crossbow. That's crazy! Which Belmont There's uses no a crossbow? One of us is the mastermind. Because we're all friends. We swore to fight together. <laughs> then it just means that all your friendship talk was a lie, right? Shut up! That's not possible! <laughs> You're upset and irrational. At times like this, a voice of reason is necessary. Absolutely necessary! Got it! We're up! Alright! We're gonna put on a reasonable yet outstanding show and earn our right to live! Eh? Our right to live? Is someone about to die? Is that what's going on? Whatever! I don't believe you! There's no way the mastermind's here. Wait. I like when Himiko it's goes off. Of it's inter students. it's entertaining for it me. It doesn't mean it's one of us, does it? It does mean it's huh? one of us. What do you mean? It's possible that the mastermind merely faked their death and has been alive this whole time. Now that we know Monokuma will break rules as he sees fit, that possibility should be What's that supposed to mean? Hurry up and answer. Hurry up. I'm gonna blow up the rest of the monocubs! I don't care about your monocubs. Blow them up. They're annoying anyways. Uh, hurry up and answer! The identity of the mastermind, we'll know for sure. Once we determine who killed Rantaro. I need to confirm something to find out who that is. What do I need to determine to uncover the mastermind's truth? Alibis! That's it! Where the fuck were you guys? I'm pointing my fingers at each and every one of you. For Rantaro's murder again. Our alibis? From way back then? You're damn right. Didn't we discuss that during the first trial? What good would it do to discuss it again? That's why I wanted to see the pictures from before. I wanted to see who the fuck was the last one to walk in the room. Now that we know Rantaro was killed by the mastermind, it might lead somewhere. We might find a hole in someone's alibi that we didn't see at the time. So we just have to give our alibis again. Fine. Then let's do it. Maki's alibi was solid. I know that for a fact. She was hanging around with everyone else. People had eyes on her. My alibi is solid because it's me, of course. So we can be sure that the mastermind's not one of us. <laughs> I wonder where this discussion will lead. Will it lead to a Wiki says Jonathan Morris carries one too. Cross was an item for most of the games. For most of the what? Which which Castlevania game? Is it like the three D games? Because when I'm talking about Castlevania, I'm talking about the two D stuff. Because usually, don't you pick up the dagger? That's the one that goes in a straight line. There's the dagger, the axe, the uh, cross, the holy water, the watch. There was like garlic and like some diamond thing that you used before in like Symphony of the Night. And like a Bible. <laughs> Either way, we're gonna make sure this trial stays exciting. I haven't played all Castlevania games though. Not the Metrovania games. Well, I only talk about the Metrovania games. Oh my face. god, do you guys want to become famous? You should head to I bigfollows.com. Get the biggest of follows. Also, and Thank you, too. bot, for telling me that. Even if I was in the same I'll place. become the biggest of famous. Real big it's fame. Impossible for me to have killed Rantaro. Hey, I didn't kill Rantaro either. Hidden door. I'm, I'm going with Hidden Door Library. And so were Ryoma and Kokichi, too. I know that is a poor alibi, but... I did not kill Rantaro! I was in the dining hall. Dining hall? Kyo, Mio, and Kirumi were with me. Okay. Though I did leave briefly to use the bathroom. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Really, Sanugi? Oh, how the fuck did I miss that? What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She just called herself out. Could be one of them. Yeah, I know. I know it was. I know it wasn't you, fucking Maki. I know you're solid. 
Kibo was by himself, so but at the end of the day, go. motherfucker went full Astro Boy. So I believe you. I was in the dining hall. So maybe I don't believe you. you and were <laughs> she said I left to use the bathroom though. Though I did leave briefly to use the bathroom. I couldn't have killed Rantaro. What? Dining hall in the restroom or on the first floor? Excuse me? Damn it! How does not what? How does that evidence not go there? What? Hidden door. Uh, hidden room. Oh, the hidden door. My bad. Fuck. I'm looking at the hidden door. Where, where's the other one? Hidden passageway. That's what I wanted to do. Hidden passageway. My bad. My bad. <laughs> My bad. I fucked up. Talking about the Metro video games. Order Ruin has one for a fact. I'm talking about a. Uh... I was in my room. By oh, so it's not straight. I was just talking about Castlevania. And so were Ryoma and Kokichi too. I know. That's 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 so it's not just strictly not Castlevania. Taro. That's I what I was going. Kyo, with me. Though I did leave briefly to use the bathroom, I couldn't have killed my entire Why would you out yourself like that? Why would you out yourself like that, Smoogie? Why would you do that, Smoogie? Why would you out yourself like that? <laughs> what are you doing? Wait a minute, Sumugi. Huh? You said you went to the bathroom. It's true, I went to the restroom, closest to the dining hall. The girls' bathroom near the dining hall, right? What did you say? That bathroom? Huh? What? What about it? What, what about it? Shuichi, didn't you investigate the girls' bathroom? Did you find anything? The utility closet in that bathroom has a hidden passageway. One that's connected to the hidden room in the back of the library. Which means it's possible to get into the hidden room from that bathroom. What? Around the time Rantaro was killed, Tsumugi went to that exact bathroom. I'm positive that when Rantaro was killed, the culprit was in the hidden room. It's too convenient to be coincidence. Hold on. This is all so sudden. I don't think I understand. Oh, no, you understand, Samuki. You murderer. Maybe they got there from the hidden door in the library instead. That's impossible. No, I don't think so. It would take too long. The campers would have caught them. Remember that I had placed dust in the card reader in the library. I was trying to determine if the hidden door was opened with a card reader. But the dust didn't fall. That means nobody used that card reader. So, to enter the hidden room, they would need to use a different route. The girl's bathroom. <laughs> They're the same. Port of Ruin is a Castlevania. I don't know. Am I killing Dracula in Port of Ruin? Huh? Is, is the port itself a creature of chaos? Yes, I don't believe it. I, believe I don't trust it. The, case. the culprit entered the hidden room from the girl's bathroom on the first and with the help Oops. of Mother Kuma, I keep skipping the fucking the dialogue. In the library unfold. As soon as they saw the Kaede's plan fail, they waited for the camera interval and leaped out of the hidden room, shot put ball in hand. The hidden door could open from the inside, so there was no need to use the card reader. In any case, the culprit attacked Rantaro with a shot <laughs> Just bonk him on the head. The library picked up the shot that Kaede had used and returned to the hidden room. Game is literally... Oh, Portrait of Ruin. I keep... You keep writing Port of Ruin. Portrait of Ruin. Jesus. And they also took the Survivor Perk monopad that Rantaro had, right? Yes. Then they left the monopad and the shot in the hidden room, headed into the passageway and return to the girl's bathroom. Which one is Portrait of Ruin? Shit, there's too many Castlevania. Is that the one in the GBA? No, that's not the one in the GBA, is it? When you play as like the two brothers? Are you saying the one who did it? Because Port is shorter. Samugi? It's the one on the DS. When you, is that the one when you play as uh, the girl? Because I've never played that one. <laughs> the one that's not canon. Yeah, okay, yeah, I never touched that one. I play like Arya Sorrow and shit. No, it has to be some kind of mistake. Up till now, everything pointed to the mastermind not being one of us. Did even 
capable of doing all this? He's just a cosplayer, you know. I don't yeah. trust cosplayers, they're so scammers. <laughs> for just some cosplayer. Listen. Don't trust the cute face. People with charisma tend to be evil. Take it from a guy who has a lot of charisma. I'm evil. <laughs> but you said that you went to that bathroom during Rantaro's murder. Are you digging on my bed? What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> Don't dig on my bed. Talking to my dogs. How can you possibly refute Dawn of that? Sorrow has one. Okay. Refute? It's it's all just a coincidence. Oh, Kibo and Ryoma didn't have alibis. What if they went to the girls' bathroom? Kibo's a robot and Ryoma's a dude. <laughs> Did you see one of them in the girls' bathroom? What? If one of them had gone into that bathroom, you would have seen each other, right? But you never mentioned that. But that's... Smoogie, what's the meaning of this? Can this really be true? Aww. Is this oh, you made Himiko sad. No, it's not. Himiko's not my favorite girl, but I can't, I can't accept it when Himiko is sad. I really only went to use the bathroom. I didn't know about the hidden passage. Look lively, mono cubs. You're up. Move your asses. That's, That's very, very wrong. wrong. Gonna dispute it. All right, bring it on, you cubs. Mother's never yelled at me like that before. If we don't do well here, we're all gonna get blown up together. I still wanna live longer. I wanna see the next chapter. So please, let us win. Fuck you, I wanna live. What? Please, please let us win. Rebuttal. Project Go for Bug Vac, Shot Put, Pink Fiber, Monica. We don't want to die! Voice print system. We're like snowflakes! We're one of a couple. I don't know what Four Eyes is talking about! Bad guys never wear glasses! Anyway, bad guys never out. wear glasses! Dude, what? <laughs> we don't want to die! What about Eisen from fucking Bleach? Look at that dude. Fucking Four Eyes. That, that guy's evil we as shit. I'm trying to think of other glasses wearing villains. Somebody help me out here. I don't know what Four Eyes is talking about. Dr. Crocker. Bad guys. <laughs> Dr. Crocker? My bad, Mr. Crocker. <laughs> anyway, just cut it out. He wears glasses. We don't want to die. Fuck, I can't hit it. Oh my god. We don't want to die. Why do I suck at this so bad? We're like snowflakes. We're one of a kind. I don't know what Four Eyes is talking about. Bad guys never wear glasses. Anyway, just cut it out. We don't want to die. Damn it. There we go. Monokuma and the Mastermind are the bad guys here. You don't want to die? Do you know how many of my friends were sacrificed? Please help us. Is Four Eyes over there really the Mastermind? We don't know anything. God, I can't hit the damn thing. I don't want to explode! Even if she is the culprit. Hey, let's just stop this! There's no evidence that she's the mastermind! Ha! I'll cut I was waiting for it. Before being destroyed, Mother Kuma told us something. I have a built-in voice print authentication system. I can't birth Monokumas unless the designated person specifically says the word birth. That individual is, of course, the mastermind. When the mastermind commands Mother Kuma to give birth, it makes a spare. We all tried it out. Ah, uh, but Kiba wasn't there, was he? Right, because I was fighting the Exosols. Did you hear that? Kiba didn't try giving Mother Kuma a command? So the real mastermind is... But Samugi's the only one who didn't say birth. Samugi was the only one who didn't say give birth. Huh? Everyone else said give birth. Whatever, just give birth to a Monokuma. Are you listening? You said to give birth to a new Monokuma. Hurry up and give birth to a Monokuma. 
Tsumugi specifically used a different phrase. Yeah, try and make a new Monokuma. You didn't say give birth. You said make. Oh, shit. You knew how to get Mother Kuma to create a spare, didn't you? That's why you specifically said make. If you had said give birth, Mother Kuma would have made a spare. Am I right, Sumugi? Hey, come on. What's wrong? Don't be like that, Shuichi. Do you really think I'm the mastermind? Oh, yeah, bitch, I do. There's just no way. No, no, no. No, you're the mastermind. Hey, everyone, say something. I'm not the mastermind. That's crazy, right? No, it's not. Then refute it. We're waiting. Huh? I don't want to believe it either. That one of our friends, the survivors, could do this. That's why I'm begging, Sumugi. I'm begging you to refute me. I might be wrong. I... I was wrong before. About Kaede. That's why I need everyone's help. I don't care if my detective work is wrong. I want to hear your argument. Reaching the truth together is what cooperation means to me. Sumugi, please. Sumugi, please! What's the matter? You can't argue back after hearing that. Whoa, hold on. Okay, Monosuke, what's going on? I don't know what's going on right now, but just hold on a sec! Oh, Monosuke's infamous impatience rears its ugly head. And what an ugly head it is! <laughs> I, I don't think friends should blame each other like this, you know? Come on, smile, everyone! I know, we can watch a comedy special so we can all smile! Goodbye, Monosuke. You're noisy. And then there were two. Ah, <laughs> Why? You loved Monosuke so much. Oh yeah, you're right. But we're at the good part now. So be quiet and watch like good little pups. <laughs> Father? <laughs> See? It's getting exciting. Shuichi is trying to reveal the mastermind, trying to overcome despair. It's so hard. Stop wasting time, Monokuma. I want to know. Smoogie, you evil? Did you do it? We have the mastermind cornered. Why is Monokuma so calm? He should be feeling concerned as well. Unless the mastermind isn't controlling Monokuma and just was giving privileges. Huh. Forget it. We're on the offensive here. If we make the Mastermind's identity clear, all this will be settled. Who's the Mastermind? I choose you. It has to be you. Samugi. Mastermind of this killing game. And the culprit who killed Rantaro is you, Samugi. There are no other possibilities. You don't have anything to say? Uh, anything to say? Even if you keep saying all that stuff, I still don't get it. Hey, let's stop this already. You're mistaken. Because we're all friends, right? Uh-uh. I'm not friends with a murderer. Were we going to work together to end this killing game? This is a class trial. Although we were forced into these class trials by the Mastermind, that's how we survived. It was the only way. It was the only way we could survive. So please, Tsumugi, refute the evidence. Say something. Your life depends on- He's like, on fight back. Fight back. <laughs> fight back, motherfucker. Fight back. <laughs> I'm begging you. It's not her. It's me. Oh, it can't be me. I'm too beautiful. I don't want to suspect you. I want to believe in you. I want the mastermind to be somewhere else, like in the previous killing games. If you're really not the mastermind, then don't give up. I'll cheer you on. E even if you say that. <laughs> Samu, 
Yugi is taking her sweet time. But waiting around is so boring. Hey, Shuichi, why don't we look over the case again? Again? For what? What? Come on, that's like your thing. Present the truth and end this. Because there are people who don't know what the heck is going on until we get to this part. Now then, let's start. Start what? My closing argument? What the f Why? Okay. Uh, huh. All right, people in the dining hall. That would be over here, right? No, wait, yes. Oh shit, thanks for the host. I gotta, I gotta move this shit out of my way so I can thank you properly. If fucking, oh my god, if goddamn Twitch would help me out. Shit. <laughs> I didn't get to read the name. I just like noticed it. But thank you for the host. I really appreciate it. Fuck. Um, shit. I'm trying to look up the name. I don't have the other... I don't have the fucking Steam Lab shit opened right now. Oh, it was you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Sumi. I appreciate it. Thank you for the host. Survivor perk. Um, after the security sensor went off, who ran to the classroom first? Uh... Survivor per oh that would be this, right? Here we go. There's that one. <laughs> give up. What do you mean give up? I'll never give up. Suichi runs. As security sensor went off. Suichi's out of there. Rentaro lured in by camera. Right above Rontaro's head. Hidden passageway. Where? There we go. And then the last one. Can you recycle a shop football? This is the truth of the case. With this new evidence, let's look back at Rantaro's murder. The night of the incident, Kaede and I were in the first floor classroom. We were waiting for the mastermind to trigger the trap we set in the library. Around that time, there were four people in the dining hall, including the mastermind. The mastermind was probably irritated that no murders had yet occurred. After the motive was given, they knew that Kaede was planning something. But the mastermind wanted some insurance. They would take action if necessary. The mastermind excused themselves from the dining hall and went to the bathroom. And from there, to the hidden room in the library that only the mastermind could enter. And there they waited. I really like the evolution of these closing arguments. If you go back to the, the first, <laughs> you go back to the first thing, Rampa, it's just like, it's like all like, the drawings are, are, are kind of like off, and throughout the time, they get better and better, more budget. It's great, I love it. Which set off the receiver I was holding. It all happened the way we determined in the first trial, except at the end. I ran out of the room and Kaede rolled the shot put ball into the air vent. At the same time, Rantaro was lured by the flash of the hidden camera Kaede set. He unwittingly stepped right into the path of the shot. Shot rolled down the path Kaede made, and then fell right onto Rantaro's head, 
killing him instantly. Or so we thought. It turns out, that was just what the Mastermind wanted us to believe. In reality, Kaede's murder plan happened quite differently. The shot put ball that Kaede rolled didn't actually hit Rantaro. He must have been surprised seeing the shot put ball drop out of nowhere like that, but his fate was sealed. The mastermind saw that Kaede's plan failed and stepped in to finish the job. The mastermind jumped out of the hidden room and attacked Rantaro from behind, and in their hand, the real murder weapon, their own shot put ball. Rantaro wasn't killed by Kaede's shot, but by the Masterminds. The Mastermind picked up Kaede's shot and left their shot put ball at the scene. They also looted the Survivor Perk monopad from Rantaro's body. Those things in hand, they retreated back into the hidden room. I remember seeing the bookcase closing just as Kaede and I got there. The Mastermind had probably just finished their crime. And so, the real truth was perfectly hidden from us. We went to the class trial and reached the truth that Kaede was the culprit. But that truth had been twisted by the mastermind. After the murder, the mastermind left the stolen monopad on the table in the hidden room. And threw Kaede's shot put ball into the trash can. A little careless of them to not get rid of all the evidence. They probably believed no one would ever get into that room. But we did. Their crime complete, the mastermind went back through the hidden passageway. The passageway led from the hidden room all the way to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. While the mastermind was pretending to use the girls' bathroom, they were actually using the hidden passageway. That's how they moved around without being noticed. Anyone could have used the hidden passageway, not just the people in the dining hall, but looking at the survivors. Only you could possibly be the mastermind. If I'm wrong, please refute me. Please tell us you aren't the mastermind. Tsumugi Shirogane, the ultimate cosplayer. 